Hi everyone, my name is Carissa Feliciano. And I'm Julianne Sifan. And we are the directors of the Public Health Committee at Mabuhai Health Center. Mabuhai Health Center is a student-run clinic that provides free and culturally competent healthcare services to the residents of San Francisco South of Market District. Uh, today we are going to be talking about COVID-19 and the Filipino American community. So first we're going to go through some statistics about Filipino Americans and COVID-19. Filipino Americans account for 35%, over 35% of COVID-19 deaths in California's Asian population. And in a study done in Southern California, out of 48 Filipino Americans known to be infected with COVID-19, 19 have died. And while that's a small sample size, when you calculate it, that's a 40% mortality rate, which is significantly higher than the national mortality rate of 3.7%. It's important to note that the California Department of Health does not report on specific Asian subgroups. That means that there might be inequalities between different subgroups that aren't accounted for. And Filipino Americans thus may be undercounted in COVID-19 data. So based on the data, it seems that Filipino Americans have a higher risk of COVID-19 infection. And this can be due to many factors. One of the factors is pre-existing health conditions. In the Filipino American community, there's a high prevalence of obesity, hypertension, and heart disease, which are associated with more serious cases of COVID-19 infection. In addition, there's a high prevalence of asthma in the Filipino American community. Furthermore, Filipino Americans, um, many, of, many Filipino Americans are essential workers, which increases their risk of COVID-19 exposure. Nearly 18% of nurses in California are Filipino, and they're most likely to work in acute care, medical, surgical, and ICU nursing, which means many of them are interacting with COVID-19 patients. In addition, Filipino Americans make up 1% of the U.S. population, but 4% of nurses in the U.S. are Filipino. And some other factors that can contribute to this higher risk in Filipino Americans are socioeconomic factors. One of those factors is undocumented status. And the undocumented Filipino American population of California is actually estimated right now to be between 64,000 to 75,000 people. Another factor is poverty, lack of healthcare insurance, and dense health households in multiple generations in one house. Another statistic is that 14% of Asian Pacific Islanders actually lack health insurance. So these different factors may also contribute to that higher risk. So um, researchers at the Carlos Bulosan Center at UC Davis uh, have been studying COVID-19 effects on the Filipino American community. And when they surveyed 800 Filipino Americans in California, they found that 41% of respondents did not know where the nearest testing facility was. So in order to increase awareness, we are going to be going over COVID-19 related resources and COVID-19 testing. Since some Filipino Americans may be undocumented or uninsured or concerned about finances, um, they may be concerned about the cost of COVID-19 testing and treatment. So recently Congress passed the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. And this requires that all public and private insurance plans must waive co-payments, co-insurance and deductibles for medically necessary screening and testing for COVID-19. Uh, this includes emergency room, urgent care, and provider office visits when the purpose of the visit is COVID-19 screening. Since the, the COVID-19 tests have to be considered medically necessary, this means that um, in, off, in most cases, you will have to have a referral from your healthcare provider in order to get a COVID-19 test. It's important to note that federal guidance does not require coverage of routine tests that employers or other institutions may require for screening purposes. So if you are currently an essential worker but not in the healthcare field and um, are not being directly 
knowingly exposed to COVID-19 patients, the government will not cover your uh, testing. Uh, and, but luckily for uninsured patients, the cost of coronavirus screening, testing, and treatment is paid for by the government. So where can you get tested in SS? You can get tested through the COLOR initiative. And in terms of who can get tested, there is um, one point is any SF resident who has one symptom or hasn't been in close contact with someone who is positive for COVID-19. Also, any essential worker or active volunteer, regardless of symptoms or exposure, can get tested. In terms of location, one can get tested at Embarcadero, Soma, and City College, and all these locations are free. Additional testing sites for uninsured patients or patients with SF health plans are also available. So just some more specifics on the different testing sites. Um, you can book an appointment online and there is an option for both walkthrough and drive-through. Uh, and for the City College pop-up test site, they are testing minors under 18. So we just put together some more resources that you all can look at. Mabuhay Health Center has actually put together resources on our website. So if you head to our website, we have information on what is COVID-19, more information about masks, preventative measures, mental health and racism resources, and resources for families. You could also check out other expensive resources on SFGov and CaliforniaGov. So these are the sources we use for our presentation. We thank you all for listening today and we hope you all have a great day. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.